What's going on guys, it's Reactions here and today I'm giving you a video of my setup with my computer. Um, I've had a few of you on my live streams ask me um, to do a vlog on YouTube to show you my setup. So I won't I won't keep you too long because obviously we're just staring at the floor at the moment. So um, yeah, I'll get started straight away uh, Just and I'll talk about a few other things throughout the video. So firstly, this is my tower. Uh, it's a Colossus window tower. Um, pretty much she signs Lane Green, it's pretty. Uh, we've got the old uh, inside the uh, computer with the fan, it's got a bit of purple in there, she's lovely. She's running a Intel i7 quad core processor with 8GB DDR3 RAM. She's got a GeForce GTX 770E 4GB DDR5 overclockable graphics card in there as well. So that helps me uh, with um, my obviously playing games on Steam etc. Some of you guys see me play a lot of Steam games, uh, others of you don't because you don't obviously watch my channel. Um, this is my Blue Snowball microphone, this is what you guys hear me through. Uh, before I got all my, I'll, I'll go through what I used to run as well, before I got all my equipment. <laughs> Look at all them leaves down there. Um, but yeah, this is my tower, uh, I'll just do a little bit about it. So, obviously, ooh, nice and blue, so this one drive. For me to turn it on, literally power buttons, that one in the middle, with a few USB slots in there, so I ain't got a fiddle around on the back, just in case I've got something that I want to plug into, um, if I'm only using it temporarily. Um, for capturing my video on my Xbox, which I will show you in a minute, my, my Xbox, um, pretty much I use a built-in capture card to the motherboard, which you won't be able to see because it's spaghetti junction down there, the wires. But I'll pull her forward a little bit. Uh, you can't really see it that well. But pretty much. Let me see if I can find something. Nope, I ain't got nothing. Uh, but down there somewhere. <laughs> between the spaghetti junction. It's just a H simple HDMI in. And a HDMI out. Which filters through the Xbox to the monitor. So obviously I can see what I'm doing. And it captures the uh, screen frames of the uh, console as well. Um, before I was running. Oh, sorry. The capture card I'm using is a Black Magic Intensity Pro. For those of you that don't know, I'll put it in the description if um, you guys are interested. Uh, in terms of monitors, I'm just using two simple, small Samsung 22 inch, different models, different years. <laughs> Dog barking, lol. Um, yeah, two, two Samsung TV mo uh, monitors at the moment. Eventually, I'd like to upgrade to a BenQ monitor. Uh, I do need another monitor because that's my gaming monitor. As you can see, there's my camera, what you guys see me on the stream. Um, so, obviously, I need this one for my gaming, so I can see what I'm doing. This is my second monitor when I'm streaming. I use this for my running XSplit and all my green screens. That's why I need another monitor. When I'm playing my console games, then I need another screen to green screen because I'm just clogging up my monitor with too much space, which can be tedious. Uh, next is the keyboard. She's signing like bright brew. Brew? Blue, uh, with a light blue mouse, it's probably a gaming mouse and a gaming keyboard. We've also got here, uh, let me move all this junk, uh, Astro 40 Mix Amp Pro, which I've had for about three months now. Um, that's what I used to use to speak to the stream on mic, um, but I found that the quality wasn't really that good. It, I had to shout a lot for you guys just to be able to hear me. Uh, and obviously for you guys that see me a lot, oh look there's James, say hi to James, <laughs> me a pop noodle mug. For those of you that don't know about James, James is relatively popular in my stream, uh, it's a pop noodle coffee mug which I use regularly on stream so a few of my viewers thought it would be cool to call him James which is pretty cool, pretty unique, I like it, keeps the uh, entertainment going and we have a lot of laughs over a pop noodle mug, kind of weird how it works out but simplest things please the simplest people very fun over here in the box we have got my astro a40s as you guys see me regularly on stream using them pretty nice comfortable to wear make it very simple uh, for me to just click and connect my stuff to be able to stop playing video games over here we have the xbox 360 which obviously I play a lot of Xbox 360 games, so you guys see me stream that. That's where I've got it at the moment, which feeds around to the computer, which then filters to my monitor. Um, 
here's all my games at the moment. Uh, so a lot of Call of Duty. Call of Duty, yeah, <laughs> Duty. Uh, a few Resident Evil games, uh, FIFA. I, I, I will not touch FIFA. I don't even know why I bought FIFA 13. I don't know. <laughs> I just bought it. I went along with the trend, but I don't, don't like FIFA. I'm crap at FIFA. And I don't want to waste my time on it. Uh, a few other games here as well. See that FIFA 14. Never touched it either. Uh, Titanfall. You know, you guys have seen me streaming a lot of these games anyway, so you know what it's all about. But yeah, that's my games collection at the moment. I am looking to get more of a games collection now. Uh, to quickly show you um, what I used to stream on was. Let me grab it quickly. Was this. I'll put it there so you can see the light. Just a uh, standard laptop, i5 processor, um, dual core, I believe it was, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, with a standard integrated 1GB graphics card. And for filtering the Xbox with, I was using the Hapage HD PBO2. In terms of quality, I liked it, but the problem that I had was um, pretty much there was too much of a delay filtering the imaging onto the computer. So I need. I knew I needed to upgrade my specs. Um, so hence why I've got this. This is pretty much a month and a half old. I love it. It's upscaled the quality. I can do a lot of things I couldn't have been able to do on my laptop. So it's more beneficial. Um, I am looking to upgrade my uh, desk and get a better monitor, like I say. So that will be coming soon, hopefully, when I can afford to buy it. Be pretty cool though. It won't be too long. It won't be the way. Now. Uh, something I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, I've had a lot of my regulars say, obviously, my viewers like to watch a lot of Xbox One and next-gen console gaming, especially on PC, uh, PS4, etc. So I felt that my stream was lacking in quality due to the 360 and the fact that it only is capable of delivering 720p in good quality with XSplit. I know XSplit probably only ca is capable of 720p, but it's not the point. You get a higher frame per second on the uh, next gen consoles. So, today I went and bought myself an Xbox One with Call of Duty Ghost. <laughs> that's all I that's all I got at the moment. I had that a while ago, but I didn't. I get I had an Xbox One before, uh, but I gave it to my dad as a birthday present because I didn't see the need for one. But a lot of you guys want better quality in the streams, and you know even I can tell the difference in. The uh, quality of the 360 to the one, especially when you guys come in and you know you like you, like as you guys keep consistent, you know get get a new console, get upgrade your equipment, and I am doing that slowly. Oh, the iPad, hey yeah, this this is what I use to like keep an eye on my chat because when I'm using XSplit, I I screen region and uh, I screen region my Twitch chat so that it comes for on stream, which makes it helpful for you know you guys know that when it comes from stream that's when i would have read it because there's obviously a little no matter what i do there's always going to be a delay on twitch and i can't help that so i thought well if i keep it in the chat then you guys know that i've read it so that that's the benefits of that um currently we, what i'm doing at the moment is we i've been streaming a lot of final fantasy 7 uh on steam which i which i got from steam uh really getting into that as a childhood game that i used to play a lot on playstation one um it's been about what 10 Easily nine, ten years since I played that game. Uh, grew up with it, love it, highly addictive. Great to get back into it again. It's not very common on Twitch, but it's a case of I, I just enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, I gave Watch Dogs a go yesterday as well, which is pretty cool. But again, that was one of the, again that was designed for next gen consoles. So I thought, you know, I'll get start buying stuff on the Xbox One. Um. And obviously giving you guys the best quality stream possible because to me uh, having a good quality stream means that you guys can you know have the benefits of n being able to enjoy the stream in the highest definition possible compared to you know people that can't really stream with that sort of technology because unfortunately it's expensive I mean uh, that cost me that tower alone cost me 800 pounds no a, a, a thousand pounds the mic cost me 50 pounds the capture card in the back of that cost me 160 pounds the mic um the mic the mouse and the keyboard cost me 80 pounds the mix amp and the astros cost me 200 pounds uh the two monitors together they cost me uh 400 pounds the xbox 360 cost me 160 pounds 
the Xbox One cost me £400. Oh yeah, and a lot of, one thing I forgot to mention is you guys see me wear these a lot on stream as well. They're my Gunnar glasses, which help me from getting glare because I do long sessions in streaming. Um, so yeah, it all adds up, especially when I got the limited edition cards as well. Uh, it's like £70 a pop, so you do, this, you do the maths, I don't really need to do it. I know it's well over £1,500. Not, you know, um, but that that's that's the sort of thing that I'm gonna be committing myself to in the future. I'm I'll working to become a full time broadcaster on Twitch and get partnered with Twitch so that I can start building my career as a full time broadcaster. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick video. Well, I say quick video, it's been 10 minutes now, <laughs> so <laughs> um, but I've had a few of you guys on my stream request to see my setup. It's only a quick one if I've missed anything, uh, just just tweet me, put a comment in uh, the video. Uh, I'll leave a few links in the description just in case you don't catch what I say because sometimes I do speak really fast, but it's just how I am. <laughs> it's just the way it is where I'm from. It's not normal to me, but I do get a lot of feedback saying that my speech is really quick. So it's not a problem. Uh, I'll put the specs again in the description. I'll put a link of where I bought the product from in the description as well. It's called overclocker.co.uk. Pretty good. I mean, I, my my brother ordered his gaming PC from there as well, so I I, I went over it knowing that the, they are a legit company. Um, so just thought I'd give you a quick video, guys. <laughs> All my junk. Um, well, pretty much that's it for me, guys. I'm gonna go and set up my Xbox One. Just thought I'd give you a quick video because I've literally just settled down for finishing work. It's ten to nine at night. I've been it's been manic since I got through the door. So. From me and James, we are out. Any other questions apart from if you don't want to leave one on YouTube, then hit me up on Twitter. Ask me a question on Twitter if you want to see anything, any desired content. I mean, I'll do my thing, but any other, anything in general, just hit me up. I'll put my Twitter in the description as well. Um, but other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys later. And remember, stay humble. <laughs>